Alrighty. So, uh, good afternoon once again, guys. My name is Bishoy Abdu. I am the Academic and Education Program Manager for Microsoft Ireland. And today, I want to talk to you guys, or for this session, I should say, I want to talk to you guys about Sway. Um, now, everything we're talking about in today is all to do with Office 365. These are all stuff you can find by Office 365. And if you guys have any questions along the way, feel free to ask away. Grant. So, question number one, what the heck is Sway? And uh, so we've all heard this term, we've all heard it relates to Office 365, but what really is Sway? So the first thing I want to say is a Sway is almost like an alternative to um, PowerPoint presentation. Um, essentially you could say it's kind of, it's a light-hearted brother, if you will, kind of. So PowerPoint is all the stuff you kind of do for all your data-heavy kind of uh, pie charts and bar charts and all that kind of stuff, where a Sway is kind of like a more fun way to create a presentation, something kind of less serious. Um, again, it's a, it's a fairly new addition to the Microsoft family. It only came out in August 2015, so just a few months ago. So it's fairly recent. So if you guys haven't heard of it, that's totally understandable. Um, and like I was saying, it's used to kind of create more kind of interactive, more lighthearted stuff, um, like kind of less serious presentations, reports, newsletters, so on and so forth. And the way that it works is, or should I say, the differences between Sway and PowerPoint is that unlike PowerPoint, how it's a physical desktop application, uh, Sway is entirely online. So there is no desktop application for Sway. To access Sway, you have to go online and use it completely online. I think similar to Prezi, actually. I think Prezi is online as well. Um, so yeah, all the presentations on Sway are created and viewed uh, within the browser. So another difference to Sway and PowerPoint as well is that so with PowerPoint, you have to design everything, design the font for this, design the color for that, so on and so forth. With Sway, you pretty much enter the text, say, I want this picture, and then Sway would kind of lay it out for you. So it has this design engine that changes from, uh, from presentation to presentation. Um, <coughs> so it's very interesting. And also, if you don't like it, you can kind of customize it to whatever you want. But the good thing about Sway is it kind of gives you a kind of design uh, layout to kinda, that looks pretty cool. Uh, and then, uh, like I was saying earlier on, Sway, again, is kind of more for kind of um, um, for image-heavy kind of presentation as opposed to kind of text and data-heavy presentation. So it's a kind of nice uh, interactive way to kind of create fun-looking presentations. So, shall we uh, test out a Sway and see what it looks like? Let's do it. So, the best way to access Sway is uh, if you go to your Office 365 account. So do you guys all know how to access your Office 365 account? I know yourself, you probably do. Do you know how to access it? Yeah, you're good. <coughs> so you simply go on to portal.office.com or portal.microsoftonline.com. You log in with your school details and so forth, and it brings you to this page here. And if you scroll down to this tile here, you're going to see an icon that says Sway. So you simply click on that. Now that's the equivalent to going to sway.com and then logging in, but uh, either way works, kind of, I suppose. So once you log in, because I'm logged in already, this doesn't take me to the automatic homepage. It takes me to uh, kind of my account page. Um, so yeah, these are all the previous uh, sways I actually did with the previous groups. And now that I think about it. Um, so it saves them even though um, I didn't click save myself. Sway saves them automatically. Grant. So as you can see, it's all purely online. So how do we get started? So the first thing is we're going to go to this create new button. Okay. And I'm going to be, uh, I suppose, kind of copying the same kind of uh, layout I did with the other groups. Grant. So the thing about uh, Sway is it's kind of this storyboard kind of looking presentation creator, okay? So you have little blocks that you kind of drag and drop. Uh, it's kind of a very kind of simple interface to kind of use. So the first thing you want to do is you want to have your title. And uh, so we'll start off with that. So like I was doing with the previous group, um, I don't want to create a presentation, for example. I'm going to create an invitation to my friends inviting them out to the zoo. And very random, but uh, yeah, it's a very easy example. So for example, we want to give this invitation a title. So note it's not a presentation that I'm going to present to people. This is going to be an invitation that I'm going to send out to my friends, telling them, hey, let's just do this thing at the zoo. So I'm going to call this a day out at the zoo. Grand. Okay, so that is going to be my title for this invitation. Grand. So. Uh, um, so this is going to be the cover page, part of the cover page. So I want an image as part of this cover page, Grant. Um, so you'll note straight away that as soon as I click drag picture here, it shows me two pictures or two groups of pictures, even though I didn't search for any pictures yet. So the good thing about Sway is that it does the searching for you. It recognizes the keywords that you put into your title, 
and says, hey, how about using these pictures? So if I'm happy with any of these, so note how a search for a zoo and a search for a day, these are the two keywords that I've analyzed. And uh, for me, a picture of something to do with zoo is what I want. So I'm going to click into this category. So once I click into this category, more pictures. So you can see here it says looking for suggestions. More pictures should pop up. So this is brilliant. So more pictures do with the zoo. So I didn't even have to search anything. So I did it for me. So say for example, I want to use this picture as my cover picture. I'm so going to click on it and say add that to that. Grand. So that is regarded as our title page. And if we want to see what that page looks like, boom, that is our title page so far. We didn't even have to position the picture. We didn't have to position the text. All we did was, this is what we want. This is the picture we want. And Sway does that for us. Brilliant. Um, however, we, well, we definitely want more than just a cover page for this invitation. So we're going to keep going. So how about we add in some text to this uh, invitation? So say, for example, we choose, we want a text block. Grand. So we have our cover page, a day out at the zoo. So what do we want to tell our friends? We want to be, I want to send some of my friends. I want to be like, hey, guys. <coughs> and let's go to the zoo on Saturday, 20th of February. I'm not sure if that's actually the Saturday. At Dublin Zoo. Uh, see ya. Something like that. Just a body of text just to kind of see how you guys work. Okay? So you may notice how we have all these kind of uh, tabs up top. Say, for example, we want this Dublin Zoo part to be a link to the actual Dublin Zoo website. So what we can do is we can go to here. Oh, I think I might have it open actually from the last time. No, I probably don't. So yeah, close it from last time. So what we want to do is say, for example, we go to Dublin Zoo website. Grant. Let's say it's Dublin Zoo. So we're going to get this URL here. We're going to copy it. We're going to go back to this. So we're going to select this again. We're going to click this link button over here. And we're going to paste the URL here. And we're going to click OK. So now when our friends open up this body of text and they're going to see uh, Dublin Zoo and they want to find out more about Dublin Zoo, rather than just giving them the link, we can actually tell them to just click on the word and it's going to take you directly to the website. Okay? And what we can do as well here, for example, you can emphasize. Emphasize is essentially bold. I don't know why uh, Sway likes to kind of mix its uh, terminology around. But emphasize is essentially bold. And uh, I believe this is accent is basically just uh, italics in Word and all that kind of stuff. Again, I don't know why it's changed its terminology, but it's the same thing. So if we're happy with that, we want to see what it looks like now as part of an invitation. So we're simply going to click to this left side here, and we see, boom, this is what it looks like so far. So this is going to be a title page. It's going to be here. This is our emphasis that we set. And this is our Dublin Zoo. That would take us to the Dublin Zoo website. Three little things to kind of spice up our presentation. So I'm going to get rid of that. Grant. Else can we We can say, for example, add a snapshot of, uh, you know, let's do that now. Actually, I didn't do that previous group. Say, for example, we want to add a snapshot of uh, where Dublin Zoo is located. So say, for example, we go to Google Maps. Usually, I'll be going to Bing Maps, but just because you guys are all familiar with uh, Google Maps, we'll go with that. Um, and we type in Dublin Zoo. Okay. I'll get rid of that. I'll read this later. <coughs> Boom. Hide this. Boom. So say, for example, we want to stick this in the picture as well. So we're simply going to copy screen. How do you copy on this again? Control print. Let's open up paint here. Hopefully this worked. Brilliant. Okay, we're gonna save this as a image. Uh, save to desktop for now. We're going to save the PNG. We're going to call it map. Brilliant. Okay, so we can X out of this. So we go back to our sway, and we want to add in another section, and we want to add in a picture. So we go to this picture icon over here. That symbolizes a picture. So we want to drag picture here. So we, in order to add a picture, we have to go up to suggested, and then we go to upload. 
And then we have to try to find our picture that we created where it says map. We're going to click open, and that's going to drag it inside here. And then maybe we want to add in a little description like this is where it is. Oh, what happened to the way this is part? This is where it is. Exclamation mark. Grand. And let's see what it looks like so far with those three elements. Cool. So you have our cover page. You have a little description and you have the map. Um, and then you can change or you can get rid of it if you want. You can make it bigger and so on and so forth. But that's essentially Sway kind of lays out everything for you. And if you don't like it, you kind of get to mix it around later on. So <coughs> these are just three of many things you can do to an invitation or to a PowerPoint or anything. Um, and then if you're happy with that and you kind of want to see what it looks like overall. So this is how your friends would see it now if you send the link to them. So they would see that and then they would see that. And then a little kind of a description of the saying this is what, what we made in Sway. So if you guys are happy with that, the next step is to then share it with your friends. So the way it works is, let's just X this one for here. You see this little button up here, the one with the three circles? You want to share the Sway. So the way that you share Sways is that you um, Sway uh, generate the link for the Sway that you can copy and then email to your friends or text it to your friends and so on and so forth. So that when they have that link, once they open it up, they'll get that exact same Sway that we just saw there. Um, so yeah. That is pretty much sway in a nutshell. Uh, I'll just go back to this. Brilliant. Yeah, that's pretty much sway in a nutshell. Kind of just giving its main features real quick. And uh, obviously, there's way more to it. There's a ton of tutorials online. Um, but yeah, that's essentially sway in a nutshell. Uh, I'll thank you guys for your time. If you have any questions, please feel free away. And uh, yeah, thanks again. Cheers. <laughs>